In the current year, the following transactions affected its stockholders' equity accounts. Prepare journal entries to record each of these transactions. January 2nd, purchased 3,000 shares of its own stock at $25 cash per share. This transaction reduces both assets and equity. We debit the Contra Equity Account Treasury stock for the cost of 3,000 shares, $75,000, and credit cash. January 7th, directors declared a $1.50 per share cash dividend, payable on February 28th to the February 9th stockholders of record. This transaction reduces equity at a rate of $1.50 per share for each outstanding share. But we need to remember that 3,000 shares are no longer outstanding, as they're being held in Treasury. The amount of the dividend is debited to retained earnings, 27,000 shares multiplied by $1.50 per share, $40,500, and credit the liability account, common dividend payable. February 28th, paid the dividend declared on January 7th. Debit the liability account, common dividend payable, $40,500, and credit cash. On July 9th, sold 1,200 of its treasury shares at $30 cash per share. This transaction increases both assets and equity. We increase the asset cash, $36,000. Credit Treasury Stock Common for the cost of 1,200 shares, $30,000, and credit the equity account, paid in capital Treasury Stock for the difference, $6,000. Notice that because the Treasury Stock account was initially debited for the cost of $25 per share, all subsequent credits to the account are also at $25 per share. August 27th, sold 1,500 of its treasury shares at $20 cash per share. This transaction increases assets and equity. Debit cash for the amount received, $30,000. But remember, we need to credit the treasury stock account for its original cost of $25 per share. We credit the treasury stock common account for $37,500. The remaining $7,500 needs to be absorbed by other equity accounts. The first equity account to be used is paid in capital treasury stock, which did not have a balance on December 31st of the prior year, but we credited the account for $6,000. 6000 of the $7,500 is absorbed by the paid in capital treasury stock account. The remaining $1,500 is debited to retained earnings. Assets increase by $30,000 and equity increases by a net of $30,000. It's important to remember that the paid in capital treasury stock account can never have an ending debit balance. September 9th, directors declared a $2 per share cash dividend payable on October 22nd to the September 23rd stockholders of record. Remember that dividends are only paid on shares that are outstanding. Of the original 3,000 shares of Treasury stock, 2,700 shares have been reissued, leaving 300 shares in Treasury. Of the 30,000 shares that have been issued, 29,700 shares are outstanding and will receive a dividend of $2 per share. The total debit to retained earnings is $59,400 and we credit the liability account common dividend payable. October 22nd, paid the dividend declared on September 9th. Debit common dividend payable, $59,400, and credit cash. On December 31st, closed the $52,000 credit balance from net income in the income summary account to retained earnings. The journal entry is a debit to income summary and a credit to retained earnings. Prepare a statement of retained earnings for the year ended December 31st. The beginning retained earnings balance, as given in the opening information, is $300,000, to which we add the current year's net income, which was credited to retained earnings on December 31st, $52,000. Retained earnings is reduced at the time dividends are declared. Dividends were declared on January 7th and September 9th totaling $99,900.
and we also reduced retained earnings at the time we reissued Treasury stock for less than its cost, reducing retained earnings by $1,500. Retained earnings on December 31st is $250,600. Prepare the stockholders' equity section of the company's balance sheet as of December 31st of the current year. The balance in the common stock account has not changed from December 31st of the prior year, as no additional shares have been issued. The balance remains at $750,000, $25 par value multiplied by 30,000 shares. Similarly, the balance in paid-in capital in excess of par value common stock remains unchanged at $75,000. Retained earnings, which comes from the statement of retained earnings, is $250,600. But we need to remember that not all 30,000 shares are outstanding. 300 shares are still held in Treasury. We subtract the balance in Treasury stock, which is equal to the cost of 300 shares, $7,500. To calculate total stockholders' equity at December 31st of the current year, $1,068,100.